Good day, Divergence Traders. How are we all doing today? Very choppy day today. Yeah, very choppy day. Uh, so, this is the NASDAQ. And our first divergence setup would be this on the five minute. We got in here. We got long here with a stop of 39 points. Gave you some drawdown of uh, 27 points. And it came down again and gave you some scare, but shot right up. Um, as you can see, the five did not cross back down below the seven. Just told you to stay long. And it went up 142 points on that sucker. And then the Dow is really weird. Really weird. It just dropped from the open and just chopped and stayed down there. Um, to be in this trade, you would have had to have been in it from way up here. Double top. Um, if you sold right there, you had it never say the five never crossed up. The five never crossed up. 180 points down to the bottom. So would it give you the two to one win loss ratio? The S and P is basically the same as the Nasdaq. And I told you, I guess, to buy in here because we had the cross up right here. So if you bought it. You see, there's two. There's there's something I keep failing to tell you, and I always remember after. But today I remembered before after. Okay, so there's two entry points that I look at when I when I go to do a trade. When it first crosses up, and you have a big rally up or whatever, you could buy it right on the close, okay? Because you want it to close above the two moving averages. And breakthrough support or whatever you know you'd <clears throat> you wanted to make for sure you know that you closed above this trend line this downward trend uh, and the way you go right and up it goes now your second entry is um, I, I call this the higher risk entry because you're getting in at a higher price and if you want to get in at a better price, you'd wait for price to retrace, okay, back into the five, into the moving averages. However, there are times when it doesn't retrace and it just does another bull candle and another bull candle and another bull candle. And when you do that, when that happens, if you didn't get in here, well, you missed out on the trade. The train took off on you, okay? Yeah. Just like here, it shows it right here. So say someone was entering with this bat, this cross up here. Here's here's a double bottom right here. Okay, let me show you that. There's a double bottom, and right here is the divergence. Okay, and the entry would be right in here. See, so if you waited for the pullback here, you got in at a better price and it went up 128. Or no, this is the S, this is the S and P. It went up 13 points right here. Okay. But if you if you got in up here after the break and close of the moving averages and the trend, okay, if you got in up here, your stop would have been 10 points. Did it give you 10 points? Oh, it just it just gave you 10 points, okay? So that's what I wanted to teach you is that the way I look at it is you have the 
the higher risk entry when it first on the first candle that closes above with the cross up of the five above the seven and you have less risk if you wait for a, a retracement and you get in somewhere in here around the moving averages and that is because your risk if you got in on the first scenario your risk is like eight points if you got in on the second scenario right here your risk is five points you see what i'm saying yeah like all traders okay professional traders whether you're entering into a new trade setup or whether you you are um just looking for a better price to get in professional traders buy dips and sell rallies so they're always looking for a retracement better price to get in the trade because then if it goes in their favor they're going to make more points if they got in down here instead of up here you follow me you know what i'm saying okay there i explained that part to you now that's all in my course too i believe i don't know i did it i did my course three four years ago nothing's really changed but maybe i forgot to mention that in my course but i don't think so it's it's in it's in there somewhere okay anyway uh, i also want to say in between the video have a heart click the like button and su subscribe if you haven't you know subscribed yet that would make my day okay let's look at oil now above 69 bucks a barrel huh uh-huh okay so we have a double bottom off $67 right there. I don't have to draw a line. The line's already there. So it would have got you in right here. And it went up 180 ticks. Okay. Beautiful trade. Beautiful trade. Was there a trade before that? Um, Not really, unless you drew a very long divergence over to here, which would be like this, and you would sell right in here, called hidden divergence. You would have got in there, your stop would have been 46 ticks, and it went down 50 ticks, <laughs> if you would have done that trade. It was hidden divergence. Let me put the line on for you right here to here. And it's, it's a little bit too long, like right here to here. See, it's too long because we have one positive mountain, a valley, two little doodahs, blue doodahs. That's where you're supposed to draw it to. And doing that would not give me the divergence we're looking for. So if, if I extended it over here, which I don't like to do, yes, it worked out as a trade. And yes, it did work out. Anyway, that is oil. Let's look at gold now. Did it ever chop up today? Holy crap. Um, but it had one trade. Let's Let's take a look at it right here. Triple top. And down it goes. So you would have got in right here. Short. Oh, itchy. Stop would have been 26 points. Did it go down 26 points? Yeah, it went down 37. So you would have got your one-to-one -one win loss ratio. And then here, yeah, there's there's no there's no trade to buy this here. It's just a choppy mess compared to the last couple of days. Let's look at the pound yen. Wow. I don't see no trade here. I don't believe to draw it from here to here, and, and I can't. Or to way over here from here, like I just did on, on, gold, on gold. No, on oil. Like this here? Yeah. That's what's going on in the pound yen. In order to draw it, I have to draw it from here all the way up here, which is... Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. That's too many. It's too long. You really want to 
have just two positives and a negative or two negatives and a positive. So I call, well, no, there is a trade. Let me see. I was just looking at the downside. There was a trade for the upside. I don't know if it hit the target or not, but yeah. Let's see. So you would have got in right here. So stop would have been 17 pips. Oh, it went up 24 pips. You would have got your one to one. But there's no trade to sell it down this way. Let's take a look at Euro Yen. There's no like low and lower low because this valley's lower than this one. So there's no buy trade right here. And there's no sell trade. If you went to the 15, yeah, well, no. It's just a mess. No. I wouldn't do no trade there. It sold off. And the pound dollar, yeah, it sold off too. It just sold off all night. Okay, so... I don't see no trade here. Usually, you know, there'd be a setup. It'd be a higher mountain and a lower mountain over here, and you'd draw it across and sell it all the way down. But that didn't happen. No. But you can see how, how much it's respecting these lines, eh? You know what I mean? Look at this, man. Up to the pivot, sell it off. Up to the pivot, sell it off. Up to the pivot again, sell it off. Again, sell it off. Again, sell it off. Now up to the $1.27 20, and sell it off. Look at this. Up to the twenty-six fifty and sell it off. Those lines are magical. I'm telling you, that's a strategy in, it, in itself. And they are included with the course. Okay? It's a different thing of trading, but it shows you. It shows you so many things, it's unbelievable. They're an amazing tool. That's all I can say. Um, amazing tool. They show you where the whole numbers are. This green line is the whole number. Um, and these Fibo, uh, not Fib, well, they actually are. They're based on Fibonacci, these support one, two, and three. That also comes with the course. I'm kind of giving you <laughs> three, four, five ways to trade, okay, with the course. You can't, you can't go wrong with that course. I used to sell it for four ninety seven. I know it sounds like I'm pushing it on you. I'm not, okay? It doesn't matter to me if you purchase it or not, okay? And I, and I seriously mean that. I don't even need to trade, but I, I trade because I just love it. <laughs> I love to trade. I love the markets. I do. That's why I'm here. And I love teaching people, too. Um, in case you didn't know, my dad was a school teacher. Um, and I kind of got some genes passed down to me. And his brother was a teacher, which is my uncle. Um, is there any other teachers? <laughs> no, just them two. My mom was a was a registered nurse. Yeah, so I came from a an educated kind of family. And uh, you know what I did <laughs> when I was twenty? Bricklayer. Yeah, that's quite the opposite eh, of what my parents were doing. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a bricklayer. I did that for six six years, but not six years straight. Six seasons I did it for because we only do it from like we don't we don't work in January February it's too cold the mortar freezes but anyway um, that was the last pair I just wanted to say that I used to sell the the course for four ninety seven and now it's only seventy seven dollars it's it's like you know coffee for a month or something but for some people I realized like are from you know these lower income countries, developing countries, they call them, you know, 77 US dollars is a lot of money to them. That's like a whole month's wages or something. Um, actually, I want to say for, for those of you who, you know, come from 
one of these developing countries. If you'd like to purchase the course, I'd like to make it a little bit more affordable for you. So I'll, I'll just charge you half price if you're interested. You just have to email me at 4xpipsnagger at gmail.com, uh, which the email is in below the video. Okay? So anyway, um, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Good luck and good trading.